Well, today a small group of protesters disrupted the first day of the veto override session inside the Senate chambers. They were voicing their concern about efforts to overturn the governor's veto on a bill involving transgender athletes. Katie Easter has more tonight from Baton Rouge. Katie. I spoke with one of the organizers who said they felt violated whenever they were kicked out from the chambers today. I really didn't appreciate the ways that, uh, you know, they were touching some of us. Um, I feel like they were very unprofessional and have pretty much no training uh, as far as, you know, what you'd expect from a Capitol Police Force. This video posted on Facebook shows the moment a group advocating for transgender rights, the Real Name campaign, were removed from inside the Senate chambers. Put their hands on us and uh, physically moved us, but we're still going. We're still, uh, we're still pushing. It was a short outbreak, but uh, at the end of the day, we got back to debating the bills. Senator Gerald Boudreaux says there are rules in place preventing applauding during session. The protesters remained outside on the Capitol steps while the vetoed transgender bill was overturned, passing 26 to 12 and handed off to the House of Representatives. And so we're out here to um, hopefully convince these uh, Democrats that should be you know, supposedly progressive to not abandon us. Don't abandon us is what we say to the Democrats. Um, and we'll keep, we'll keep pushing, we'll keep fighting, we've been pushing for the whole legislative session. This session will continue in the House of Representative Chambers on Wednesday at 1 p.m. In Baton Rouge, Katie Easter, KTC, TV3. Well, senators voted to overturn Governor Edwards' rejection of a bill prohibiting transgender students from taking part in school sports. Senators voted 26 to 12 for the veto override. That's the exact number of votes needed. As Katie mentioned, the bill now sits in the House. Senator Gerald Boudreau says he's against the bill for numerous reasons, including the effect it may have on future sporting events, while House Representative Bo Boye is for it. I'm going to be standing with the votes that I made during the regular session. And if, if a bill comes up to be overridden and, and I was in support of it, I'm going to continue to support that, that bill. There are some things in the bill that these organizations have come out and said that it's discriminatory and they have problems with. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get to a point where um, we can correct those so that we don't lose those, those opportunities to be the whole state for a number of national sporting events.